morning, I'm Dave Halliwell. I'm here from Lifecast Body Simulation, a UK-based company based in Elstree Movie Studios uh, down in London. Um, we're launching today the elderly care mannequin that you can see in front of you. Um, this is based on a real lady. She came in and she was 3D scanned and 3D cast. Uh, and has donated her body to, to science in terms of she's allowing us to make full body mannequins of her. She is fully intubatable, ventilatable. Uh, she'll take a nasogastric tube. She's cannulatable. We also have um, pubic hair and genitals in and we can make her both catheterizable and take nasogastric tubes. We hope that a mannequin with this level of realism will be used for things such as supporting the UK's respect agenda, uh, talking about dignity and elderly care. We've left her exposed here at the conference today so that people can see the level of detail that goes into a, a life cast mannequin. And our project is very much all about 3D scanning and casting of real people and then making mannequins that look exactly like those people. Um, the, the lady herself, you'll notice that she's got real hair, which is hair punched in. And the team at Lifecast, they spend their time working on either movies, uh, they've recently been involved with Star Trek and Fast and Furious 4. And the, they actually uh, took the wig home and dyed the wig so that we had the perfect colouring to match the mannequin. You'll see that she's got eyebrows, that she's got eyelashes in place, and when I open the eyes up you can see that she's also got eyes in there. When we ventilate the mannequin, uh, because of the little sag here on the mouth, you'll notice that actually I have to do a jaw thrust to bring her face up into the mask. So when we apply the mask like so, you, normally you'd get the little leaks down here. And with a one-handed technique, I'm really gonna struggle to do it. But with a decent two-handed technique, I can bring the face up. And this is the sort of stuff that we want to be able to teach the junior medics that actually when people have no teeth in, they are far more difficult for us to uh, ventilate. From a cannulation point of view, if I can just move down and, and show you just some of the work we've been doing on the uh, range of movement. So again, by bending the fingers, you can see vessels coming up, but also to then bend the wrist and see new vessels coming up, and also to be able to rotate the wrist. And those three movements are obviously the core movements associated with the skill of cannulation. If we come up through the arm here, you can see again that we're able to bend the arm into its natural position. And we've got a little bit of bingo wings, as we call it, going on down here, which is, is the realism. We can also take the arm up and put it through any natural positioning. Other stuff that we're involved with at Lifecast, we've recently done a preterm baby, uh, which is this one here. This is a full ALS mannequin, 950 grams. It's uh, a 29 week old baby, nasogastric tube, orally intubatable, um, uh, cannulatable, scalp cannulatable, and here we've got cord access. The cord access leads to a little sump down here, so we can pre-fill it with about five mils of fluid and then receive flashback. So that's 950 grams of ALS mannequin. It's based on a real baby uh, who was 3D scanned uh, and then cast uh, and turned into a mannequin. We believe that movement is really important, and I know with Lance and the team at Healthy Simulation, we've showed you this guy before, but again, he's really important as part of our story because one of the things that we've always been struggling with was making movements seem appropriate. And just a tiny piece of movement in any mannequin actually helps us believe that it's real. This is just puppetry skills, but again, a key component of our journey. So we believe that Lifecast makes the most realistic mannequins. What we're trying to do is to transform simulation and to put realism at the forefront of everybody's agenda. We think emotional buy-in with realistic mannequins may make a difference, and our journey now is to actually start and prove that working with psychologists and research teams around the world.